Good morning, just woke up. Time to pack up and get the hell out of here. Everybody, <coughs> I mean, yo, 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 just leaving Great Falls, a little bit cold still. I mean, it looks warm, but it's cold. So find some fuel, which is right there. That's the last place we filled up. And we are here on the bro trip. And we'll catch you on the freeway because I'm going to Salt Lake City, Utah, my most favorite city in all of America. Oh, it's so bloody windy. I'm getting blown to pieces. My neck is killing me and I've only been riding for a couple hours. Like it's not, it's just not fun right now. It's so windy. Because driving normally at this speed, it doesn't hurt, but I get gusts of wind and my head's like ripping off. It's just not fun right now. I thought it'd be better once I got into the mountains and canyons here. Yeah, not really. It's like a fucking wind tunnel. And this helmet's even better than my showy RF1100, the sport bike helmet. Because that helmet's designed more to be like worn like this. This one's more designed to be like sit up. So it's even better and I'm having a fucking hell of a time. The mountain passes of Montana I'm riding through right now really quite beautiful something to enjoy even though there's snow on the ground it's not too bad with the heated grips and the full gear and it's nine degrees Celsius so it's not overly cold the only thing I hate is the bloody wind we're about 850 kilometers away from Salt Lake City and after Salt Lake it'll be closer and closer to Las Vegas which will get me away from the cold and the snow. But I'm super lucky to be doing this on November and not have any snow, especially where I live. Leaving my city in November with dry roads is pretty awesome. Anyways, this is what I'm working with right now, ladies and gents of the internet. And we'll catch you all in probably the next gas stop. so cold it is five degrees now I'm in Dillon I believe in Idaho now man this helmet I cannot say enough good things about it the pin lock is fantastic and the visor the stability on this bike oh it's making this trip fantastic I just wish it was a little bit warmer I'm gonna end it here before I hit the highway the one thing that's so nice about Montana is the, the speeds you have here. It's like 130 kilometers per hour is the limit. So I do 10 over, I do 140 kph. It's fantastic. It's really bad. Up in, the mine, up in Montana and that. Yeah, in the mountains there, but now that we're coming south, it's getting a little bit warmer. Like, I'm okay zero and above, or I mean, was it 32 for you guys? F? Right now, right now, we're about, we were 40, about 
I hit minus five today, whatever that is, like, so below. Yeah, no, uh, where are you from? Uh, Calgary. Calgary, Canada. In Canada, yeah. Enjoy your trip, hope you stay warm, and hopefully you get into a nice, warm, nice, uh, hot area. I hope so, thanks buddy. Well, you probably saw some of the scenes I just put in. I actually rode on snow, like on snow and on ice. Crazy! First time ever doing that. Uh, that's pretty cool. I, to, I was tailing a FedEx truck to break the wind because it was minus six. And it was really, really cold. So I was tailing the semi um, to break the wind. And then he put his hazard lights on for a couple of flashes. So I backed off and then boom, ice. I did not have time to put my GoPro on, but damn, I got caught the tail end of it. And uh, with that scene I just had in there, and oh man, I had to go so slow, hazard lights on, cars are flying by me on the left side, it was fucking crazy. I have never been so cold. I am wearing like this crazy base layer I got from a sports shop. I'm wearing like 50 layers, all my winter gear, like, and I'm still frozen to the bone. I'm on the road again. I'm in Idaho now. It's crazy. I've gone from like the seasons. Like now we're green grass over there. Like what is this? Not an hour ago I was in snow. Anyways, I've been getting some really weird looks from people like what the hell? <laughs> You're on a bike this time of year? It's pretty awesome. I've met so many cool people at every gas station. Canadians going south with their bikes and their vehicles to truckers. People who didn't know what the bike was, asking about it. It's been a really fun trip. It's just tough to record it so you guys can see the interactions. It's just weird, you know, mid-conversation. Oh, please hold. I'm going to put on my helmet, turn on my GoPro, turn on the Cena backpack, turn on the Cena 20S, and then continue our conversation. Like, you just can't do that, you know what I'm saying? I don't catch all the interactions, but... Anyways, I'm, I'm talking way too much. I'll see you guys in a bit.